Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, well, if you're on Windows 11, but 21H2, because there's 22H2, I'm on 22H2. If you're on 21H2, haven't upgraded yet to 22H2, today you have a uh, optional update, uh, optional uh, preview release update, as they call them. And uh, the release preview updates are bug fixes for the most part. So if you go to your Windows updates, you'll see that there's an optional update that you can click download and install. If you don't do anything, it won't. It will install only with the next patch, Tuesday of February. On 22H2, we're not there yet. So if you guys on 22H2, the updates for the uh, C-band update that they call or the preview the uh, release preview with bug fixes uh, will not happen. Either it will be released tomorrow or I expect maybe next week will be when they are going to be released. So nothing for 22H2. If you're on 21H2, your bill number, if you go and type Winver in the, uh, in the search box and click on the Winver, you should be at build 22,000 dot 1516 now there's a um, integration interrogation point there because some say they are on 1515 but some say they're on 1516 whatever version you are on you're fine it means you updated anyways so the um, update comes as kb501 uh, 9274 and what it does is actually it will add a few new features, which is kind of interesting. They're kind of using the bug fixing updates to tweak and change some things around. So you might notice that in the, uh, if you go into the settings app, for example, you will have an updated page for the accounts where you'll have your subscriptions, your information about your Xbox, the storage, You'll have alerts for uh, when you get close to your storage, stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going to show up that weren't there. Um, you will have Xbox subscription details on your account page uh, for some. There will be a account experience setting that you can manage. Of course, OneDrive subscriptions and storage alerts and all of that. So here you will have the... Uh, some changes uh, apparently so uh, you can check that out the other change comes in personalization where they actually will have the Windows spotlight easier to discover uh, so they combined the Windows spotlight with the themes and the personalization so that you can actually check Windows spotlight if that's what you're using so um, these are a few changes. Apart from that, there are bug fixes, of course. And um, depending on if you have problems or not, uh, they have a fix for the search indexer that actually randomly stops you from signing in or out of your account in Windows. They uh, have a, a conflict between two or more threads that are um, in complex applications. Uh, there's a few things about the DNS system suffix that has problems with issues. and um, There's an ad, the update ad support for long URL links that are longer than what we had before. Um, there's an issue where uh, the um, problem occurs where you have certain HD audio controller hardware and apparently it damages memory so i don't know what exactly what that does uh there's of course uh, some uh issue that is fixed for printing in landscape mode uh if you are using the microsoft defender application guard uh, apart from that uh, there's the resilient file system refs uh fixes in there and updates and also some uh, updates for um anything that is server and windows server so um, basically lots of little fixes, but mostly internal fixes that might not have shown or might not be a lot, what a lot of people have noticed. So you can leave it alone. You can install it. 
if you do nothing, it will install with the next patch Tuesday in February anyways. And remember that this is going to bring, so the KB is KB5019274, and this brings your build number to 22,000.1515 or 1516. Whatever you are, you're fine. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.